Hello everyone, Agents here, I'm back and in this video I will show you how to install ATI driver on Windows XP. Now I am using uh, Windows XP with DirectX 10 capable graphics card so I'm using 10.2 Catalyst pack and as you can see there are three files in here this is uh, basically my um, my own pack with everything you will possibly need for Windows XP 10.2 installation now we will be using the first file and the last one and uh, the first one is for DirectX 10 capable um, driver files while the last one is for Catalyst Control Center if you're interested in having it. So uh, you go to your driver, click, double click on it, then you click install. If you want to change the destination folder you can. I will use the default one for this driver, so install or extract in this case only. <laughs> and why? Um, you will see. So we cancel this because you don't need to go with full installation in, in this case. And uh, you close this and go to properties of your PC. Now you go to hardware and device manager and from the list you pick video controller VGA compatible. There we go to driver tab and click update driver we will not use windows update for driver installation and i don't recommend it for ati cards at all it's uh, it may become a problem <laughs> later on if you want to use specific driver because the other ones uh, the other ones are not stable or creating er errors so no don't use it and f because <laughs> we will pick our driver we use the second option not the recommended one but advanced and don't search for the best driver we will pick it so i will choose the driver to install we pick the display adapters click next and have disk from this, oh, from this uh, window we pick browse and we go to our folder with the driver that was extracted. So in my case it's C ATI support 10.10.2 and go to packages and drivers display and here we have the XP INF file that we want. We click open, OK, and we have the list of the all GPUs that are supported on this um, on this driver. Now I know my card is 2600 XT, HD 2600 XT. So we pick that, double click on it, or click next, however you like it. And of course we know this is not recommended because cannot verify that is contributable compatible driver with your hardware now uh, we will use it anyway because i know it will work so click yes and there we go driver is getting installed of course the monitor will um, go black for a second and completed we have the driver installed as you can see it's it's from the february of 2010 here's the version of it close no issues with errors or any other uh, things in the device manager so we can assume the driver does work we can verify this with gpuz yes all the fields are here 
uh, I am using AGP dry uh, AGP card, but uh, the driver that I installed right now is not the fixed AGP version that you can uh, download if you search for it. Um, what I think is that uh, guys at ATI simply are lazy <laughs> because they didn't include the IDs from the for the AGP cards or the all AGP cards with the default driver and the fixed version simply adds them which enables them to install by default which this driver is not capable of that's why I'm using my method of of uh, driver installation so from the device manager there is one thing right now uh, the driver is not initiated correctly because windows xp you need to restart for basically everything so we will restart but not just yet before that we will install the Catalyst Control Center. So we pick the last driver in this case. So legacy one. And again, click install. It will extract. You can check the folder in which it's going right here, if you need to. And when, it's that, and when that's done, you cancel the installation of this driver or click Anului. And yes, we want to exit the installation. Because uh, this driver will not work with our graphics card. Because this driver is uh, speci especially made for DirectX 9 cards and this is uh, DirectX 10 capable one however we don't need the driver we already install it now we go to CCC uh, or Catalyst Control Center from the driver we just uh, extracted because that's what we need and why is that well there are obvious things however first things first let's install it um, as you can see this is a 50 megabyte folder ccc when we go full you see the setup exe double click on this and there we go now don't need to worry you don't need to worry about the language because it will detect the language that you are using currently and uh, pick the correct one automatically after the installation while it's doing its thing let's compare it to the ccc we get on the default driver that we used as you can see we get two packages apps and there is the ccc folder now the co <laughs> the interesting part is that it's only 20 megabytes uh, on size in size so there are missing basically files from it yes you can't use this one because of that uh, i do not know if it's ati's uh, error or uh, other stuff that's going on in the background that they didn't include the complete ccc installation package in this driver but it's what it is so we have to bypass it somehow now this is after the installation is completed you can check if uh, you want to restart the pc or not so we will restart it of course because the driver is not initiated completely so pick the first version first option 
and to restart the PC. The PC. <coughs> I'm using this method because it's um, it simply works for me, basically. Now, uh, if you want to use another driver version, like 9.1 or even earlier, or newer one, like 12 or 13 or 14 even, uh, I do not, I didn't check if uh, this this driver is compatible with, I don't know, Catalyst Control Center from the newer ones, older ones, or if this Catalyst Control Center from Legacy driver is compatible with newer or older drivers. I did not do it, so I cannot say if they will work. You will have to check it yourself if you want to use the other drivers. Um, I know in my case it works and you will see just in a second when the PC gets everything loaded and there we go Catalyst Control Center let's zoom in a bit information hardware software and other stuff we can of course change the resolution if you want there we go works as intended we don't want to save it 3d AA AF Everything is in here, even the overclocking options. Okay, now that we have this, um, there is one thing that I want to run, and that's 3D Mark 06, just to um, verify it's stable. Close and run I will speed things up so that you don't have to uh, watch the whole thing
and there we go. Test complete. 5100 points. Pretty nice. Let's save it on the submission. Okay. I will include this uh, in my uh, description of this video. Of course, you can check if it's uh, legitimate. Okay, close this one, close this. Now, to, to reiterate what I just did, basically I manually installed the proper driver for this card and uh, because of that I needed to manually install the Cotalis control center uh, as well. For this to work you need a Catalyst Control Center installation uh, folder that's complete with the setup exe file. So not every driver has it as you could see in uh, the beginning of this video. Now uh, what I should also add is that uh, newer drivers from the AMD, not ATI, uh, may also have this issue, but may not. It's really dependent on the driver version you are downloading and also uh, if you are basically lucky. Because I didn't check all the drivers for the AMD side and all the drivers for the ATI side. Um, what you download is what you get, basically. Check the the file size and the folder size for the CCC and if it's sl smaller or higher or bigger basically um, it should give you a, a hint as to it's if it's usable or not uh, for the later drivers from the AMD side um, there is the update needed for it to work the the control center because uh, it's you it uses the newer dot uh, net framework environment if you don't have that installed um, catalyst uh, control center uh, will fail to install it should have uh, in the folder dot net updater to the version you need so it should be there if it's not you can download this uh, from the windows update or st a standalone update whatever you will need it though just to be and uh, just to use it other drivers don't have this issue by the way you can use them uh, without the updated.net all right so this is it, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one.